miniaturized sculptures are made and used as guides to create full-size mechanical props. Now some of these creatures work like puppets with off-camera operators using cables to move them. In other cases, the models are brought to life through a process known as stop-motion animation. First, the figure is photographed one frame at a time. Then, in between each shot, an animator steps in and moves the figure just slightly. When the individual frames are played back at a normal speed, the motion appears fluid and very lifelike, as with that scorpion from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. As you can see, miniatures have always played a big part in special effects. This draw Bridget Ferry book, for example, are two of the miniatures used in Dick Tracy, a film that has taken the art of visual effects to a new level. Watch your monitors and I'll show you what I mean. This particular scene involved four different elements, animation, live action, computer driven cable system, which allowed it to move at various speeds. That square rig you'll see in just a moment is actually a mirror. By placing it over the tracks, we can record the image of the oncoming train. On film, this looks like a head-on collision. And finally, the rest of the scene is filled in with a matte painting that had to be created from a key illustration. First, the film with the live actors and the miniatures is projected onto a sheet of glass. Then the big city background is painted in around it. And finally, by flashing neon signs, twinkling animated stars, and colored smoke, our scene is complete. And then any background that we like. It's this process that allowed actor Bob Hoskins to fall right into the cartoon world of Roger Rabbit. Okay, now let's create a little bit of blue screen magic of our own. Alright kids, here's the scene. You just came in, you were zapped by our shrinking gun, and now you're this big, flying around in the back of the bee, okay? Now in idle action, I want you guys to wave your arms, kick your legs, and look really scared, okay? Alright, camera's ready? And action! Now as you can see, our viewer may be stationary on the floor, but if you watch your monitors, you'll notice that it's our computer-controlled camera that's giving us the appearance of flight. Okay. Now you guys have got to have time. The action was great. You were moving around like really good. The only problem is this is a really scary scene. You guys are both smiling the whole time. Okay, but that's alright because we're going to give you one more chance. We're going to do another take and this time we're going to